Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn how to log in user with the help of Cognito. So let's get started. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So previously we have done with the log, we have done with the sign up. Then we are verifying that uh, email. Then we are going to log in. Okay, so here we have the code with the login one. So here you can see that the post login. So here we are accepting the email and the bot dot password. This is change password. Sorry. Scrolling down issue. So here we have the login. So we are expect, uh, accepting the email and the password. Then we are going to send the login function with the email and the password. Then the statuses go to the login function. Then we are handling the promises. If it is showing the data, then resolve. Then otherwise it's reject. So here we have authentication details, Amazon Cognito ID authentication details, username and the password. And here we have the user data with the pool. Then we are passing with the uh, Amazon Cognito ID Cognito user with the, all the data object that we are making over here. Then we are going to authenticate that user with the field authentication details that we have. Then on success, it will resolve and it will give you the access token ID and the refresh token. Otherwise, on the failure, it will reject that one. Okay, so let's have a look if it is working or not. So let's go and check it out over here. So let's go and add the login over here. Login, what we require login, that is email we require. Let me check the parameters and it should be email and the password. So it should be email and here we have to add the password. Let's have a look on that one. Password is admin123 hash that we have done. So let me run this one. What it says? Error. Okay, the server is not started. Let me add this one server. So let's hit this one. Now you can see that we received <coughs> the SS token, the refresh token, and SSID all and everything so you can use it anywhere when we are going to provide the authentication of that user right so this is how we are able to use the login in Cognito AWS with the help of the Node.js any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day in the next video we are going to learn how to do the change password feature with the help of AWS Cognito Node.js. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.